Gatsby, now that you feel better, I want a rematch. <gasps> Could this be? Ryan is challenging Gatsby to a watermelon eating rematch. Gatsby won last time, but it was pretty close. Let's see what happens this time. Place your bets now. Go. Right off the start, it looks like Ryan is employing Gatsby's technique from the last competition with small, tiny little bites that are easy to swallow. Gatsby's looking around like, uh, why am I doing this again? I've already proved myself. They're neck and neck. Ryan is taking a more uniform approach to eating watermelon, where Gatsby is just taking tiny bites in the same area. But it's anybody's game at this point. Ryan does look like he is slowing down a little bit. Oh, it's cold. Did I just hear he said it was cold? Gatsby, on the other hand, looks like he's eager to keep his champion title. Ryan is slowing down a little bit. It looks like the watermelon competition is definitely taking a toll on him. Wow, Gatsby barely seems phased at all. But right now, the amount of watermelon left is pretty even. Come on, you guys, who do you think will win, human or corgi? Will Gatsby be able to take the title two times in a row? Or will the second time be a charm for Ryan? It's still anyone's game. Ryan's technique is in earnest, but he's still having to swallow the watermelon chunks, unlike Gatsby, who just keeps going. Looks like Gatsby is employing a new strategy to buy him some time, dripping watermelon juice all over his opponent. Will it work? Oh, Gatsby is getting down to the rind. Ryan is starting to have problems eating this way. Could this be a possible disadvantage? <laughs> looks like Gatsby's saying, time to drink mm. some more watermelon juice on my opponent. But it doesn't look like it'll work this time. Oh my gosh, it's getting close. No, 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 Gatsby's the winner, again, two times in a row. We did it. Gatsby, you beat me again. Good job, Gatsby. And thus concludes another watermelon eating competition. What a time to be alive. And now it's time for us to start the vlog. glad Gatsby is feeling better. Don't forget to feed the fish. I'll set the air condition for you. We got the frozen fish food. Here we go. Enjoy your breakfast. Let's see what happens this time when I turn myself into a treat. Gatsby care? Ready? You turn into a treat, I'll eat you up. It's time for a new ukulele song. So this week I thought I would play for you guys a song that I learned in junior high by Elvis Presley. Enjoy. So I thought I would update you guys with some good news on the merchandise. For those of you who really wanted this Japanese Corgi t-shirt over here, Corgi, I know that it sold out super, super fast the last two times. I did order some more and they will be in stock hopefully by 
this coming week. But remember, you will need to grab them as soon as possible. Right now, it is pretty hard to get uh, new t-shirts done just because a lot of the factories have been closed for a while, so the supply is very low. Along with the t-shirts, the embroidered dad hats and the beanies will be back in stock as well, along with a super special limited edition product. Here it is. Woo, tie-dye Japanese corgi t-shirts in four different colors. We got here like a black tie-dye one, a navy tie-dye shirt. We got this black one with like slightly different colors. And we have the super bright traditional tie-dye shirt. These t-shirts are gonna be very, very limited edition. I know tie-dye is like so in right now. They're gonna be incredibly limited quantities and they're not gonna be restocked like all the other ones. So make sure if you want a special tie-dye one, this is a one-time thing. And as I mentioned before, we are gonna be restocking the jigsaw puzzles, especially the fruit one. They will probably be ready by August right now. But I still have the uh, uh, Corgi selfie puzzle. There's only like a few left. So if you wanna get one of those, it's a thousand piece puzzle. Super fun to do, especially right now when you gotta stay at home. So those are still available at CorgiOnFleek.com. You know what game we haven't played in a while? Find Gatsby! In the comments below, numbers one through five, write down where Gatsby is hiding. Ready? Starting off easy, number one. Where could Gatsby be? Moving on to number two. Where is Gatsby hiding? Number three, these are getting a little bit more tricky. Where could Gatsby be hiding? Number four, I see him. Hmm. And finally, number five. This is probably the hardest one I've ever done. Look very closely, he's there. Were you guys able to find him in all five places? Congratulations, Gatsby. You are the master of disguise. Today is shoulder day. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Gatsby's like, go, 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 go. We're done with the workout. The smile, it's back. dinner time. I saw this video of this Korean street food style garlic bread. It looks so, so good. It's stuffed with cream cheese, so there's like a little bit of sweet and savory to it. It looks delicious. First, we got some bread rolls. I think you just want any kind of white bread. We are going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. By the way, I got this recipe from Simply Mama Cooks on YouTube. I will put a link to her video in the description below. We're gonna start with the garlic butter mix that's gonna go over the bread. Unsalted butter, just gonna cut it up to help it melt faster. Melt. He's like, am I getting some? No, Gatsby, you can't have garlic. Bam! It's melted. We're gonna add one room temperature egg, three tablespoons of room temperature mayonnaise, one teaspoon of sugar, and we're gonna use one tablespoon of this garlic paste. One tablespoon of dried parsley. It's kinda like an aioli, but with a lot of butter. So, for this Korean street food style garlic bread, they stuff it with cream cheese, sweet cream cheese, which I wonder how that's gonna taste. We'll see. We want room temperature cream cheese. We're gonna mix in two tablespoons of sugar. Just cut the bread into sixths, but not all the way through. You want a serrated blade for this. It's easier to cut. So now we have six ways here. He also said that you can do it um, in, in quarters, so let's try one of those like that. This is pretty easy to make. Cut the edge. Pipe it into all of the crevices. There we go. Cream cheese. Oh, this is gonna be so rich. So much lactose. Add cream cheese in all of the cracks. <laughs> okay, we did it. 
Ta-da! And all the crevices. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Top looks so good. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. For 15 to 20 minutes, during that time, I'm gonna heat up my chicken. Here's the chicken that I made the other day with some lemon pepper seasoning, air fryer. I'm just gonna saute some onions to go with my chicken, so I have some veggies. It smells good. Now finally, we just dash it with a little bit more parsley. This garlic bread looks so good. We'll see how it tastes. Ooh, there's like cream cheese on the inside there. It's all melted. Oh, that looks good. That is so good. Okay. You know those everything bagels? <laughs> the ones that have like garlic and everything on the bagel? It tastes like that with uh, spreading cream cheese on it and then like jam because the the cheese the cream cheese is sweet. That's what the flavor is like. The texture is a little bit different. Of course, it's like a softer bread and it does match chicken. I give the bread an eight and a half out of 10. Um, it's really good. I think it's worth a try. It's definitely different than regular um, garlic bread though. It's so good. Oh, he's back to eating. Yes, Gatsby, you can do it. It is time for us to do another movie charades. So in the comments below, numbers one, two, and three, and guess which movies we are acting out. Okay, here we go. Movie number one. That was not very good. Movie number two. Okay, now final one. Movie number three. Me. Those are very hard to act out. If you can guess those movies, good for you because I don't even think I would be able to guess that. We just made it back, kicking Gatsby out for the final potty of the night. See, his paws all good. He's like, please, touch my teeth. I will, I will. Okay. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, you did it. Okay, you guys, it's time for us to end the vlog. Look, his paws are totally fine now. We can do this. If you wanna make sure to get the Japanese Corgi t-shirts when they're back in stock, make sure that um, you are subscribed to our newsletter. Go to corgionfleek.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and subscribe. And you will be one of the first ones to be notified when the shirts get restocked because they can sell out pretty fast. We're gonna head to bed. I'm so glad Gatsby's feeling better. We might be able to go exercising soon. We're, we're just taking our time because we wanna ramp up back to that. Right, Gatsby? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. A few weeks ago, Gatsby got injured. Hey Gatsby, how do you feel? Today, I thought I would cook for him something really special.